Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. As you can see here, I've got a sample contract here that I've laid out pretty clearly. On this, the blank day of blank 2013, I swear that the following is true and correct to the best of my knowledge. And uh, this can be handwritten here, but uh, my dog ate my homework. Signed and witnessed and probably dated. Why not? Okay, uh, it's a ridiculous contract, or agreement, or affidavit, or whatever. But for for what we're doing today, we're gonna do a printout. So we're gonna make it to where the you know everybody knows you can do a button or a user form that makes it pr do a print preview. We've shown you how to do that. It's using the dot print preview method. So I want to show you a really cool trick here called the printout. I'll show you how to do it with a user form and I'll show you how to do it on a worksheet. It's the same concept. So I'm going to hit Alt F11. I'm going to create a new user form and very simply I'm going to have a text box here and a label for that one. I'm going to throw a button on there and it's going to say print and then I'll, of course I'll have one just to be polite that says print preview in case they don't want to print immediately. So we'll say that say print now. Alright, now I'm going to hit F4. There's our properties window. Well, we're going to do diligence and, and you know, uh, print preview. You've seen me name buttons a lot, I'm sure. Hit, uh, oopsie the wrong buttons here. Alright, double click there. BTN print now. We're going to name the text box TB for text box. And we'll call this number of copies. Num copies. And you guessed it. For the label, we're going to say number of copies. So that's only for the print out method. If you're doing a print preview, then obviously you're going to go on to select however many copies that you need. So with a print out method, you don't really have as many options as you do when you get to do the print preview and resize it and, you know, put this and that from the printer's drivers or settings or whatever. You don't, you just, just sends it straight to the printer as is. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. Sometimes you just you know you're going to want to do that. And you don't want to click here and click there and click OK from a print preview. You just want it to print to the printer and move on with your job. So that's what we're going to show you how to do. Of course, of course, of course, uh, with a print preview, we're going to uh, handle that really quickly. Whenever that button is pressed, we're going to say active sheet. We're not going to uh, declare and mess with you know specific sheets. Uh, active sheet dot print preview. That's your first one. So let's test that out. Click on the, double click on the user user form and hit the play button. So how about print preview? Active sheet dot print preview is going to do this, and uh, it takes a little while for my upstairs computer to access the downstairs printer. Um, oh, here's a really good, a really good uh, lesson to learn and something I keep forgetting to do. See, I can't access my print preview. I can't even close the workbook. I can't close anything because it's stuck on this. So what you want to do is put me.hide or userform1.hide or whatever. I'm going to hold the escape key down and hopefully that will bail me out of this situation. Or maybe I can select the... yeah I can select this. Let's see... I forget how to get out of this situation. Well, that was a tough lesson to learn. I just had to go into the task manager and actually exit Excel. Um, I thought there was a way out of that, but uh, that, that kind of stinks. So, let's see if it saved anything that we just worked on. Boy, I'd love that. Ooh, let's see here. Whoopsie. Alright, so let's look and see. And. 
No, I did not save that. That's a bummer. Okay, well, I'm going to pause while I recreate all that good stuff. And lesson learned, right? Uh, so you need to make sure that you you do the uh, user form dot hide because once you're at a print preview it locks up so that was my bad I should have saved before I clicked the e button so anyway hold on a moment and we're back I'm gonna double click on the print preview and we're gonna say active active sheet dot print preview but before that, we're going to say me.hide. Um, if you were in a different user form, you could reference this by saying user form 1.hide. You could do that now. But since we are currently in that user form, writing code for that user form, we can say me.hide or me.whatever. That being said, let's go ahead and hit F5 and run that. So if I click the print preview button, it will hide this form first, and then it will do a print preview. Oh, crap, I lost my sample contract, too. Well, foo we. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Oh, I'll just make something up again. One more. Okay, we're back. We got our sample contract here. I swear that I don't know how to read. Signed. Witness date. Okay. Now, let's get back to our form. Hit Alt F11. And hit the. Let's see the play button here. So, the print preview, you really don't need to put any number of copies there. I'm going to leave that blank print preview, simply brings up a preview, and in this case, thank god, it is not locking up, it just loads your print preview here, and you can close that as you want. Now, the other button, how about the print now, now this is where it gets fun, um, <clears throat> you're going to say application.print or excuse me, active sheet dot print out and if you hit uh, space see it doesn't tell you what you need to do maybe we will declare this just so we can <clears throat> see what all we need to do there so we're going to say <clears throat> S sheet as a worksheet, and we're going to set as sheet. It's sheet one basically. It's workbook.sheets. Sheet one. Now it's declared, so we can say sheet one dot printout. <clears throat> Perfect, there it is. If I hit a space, it tells me all the little clues that I need to know, which I like. I like all the clues I can get. But the main things that I want to focus on are the copies. And you can choose which printer, um, print to file, all these different options that I do not personally use. You could. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm be, you see, you can either choose all these features, blah, 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 comma, blah, 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 comma. You know, so if you only wanted to do copies, you do comma, comma, and here's, and then number of copies would be, so let's say four. Um, but I don't like to do the co uh, all the commas and everything. I type what I want, C O P I E S, use a colon, and then equals, and then you can zoom to the whichever features of these that you want without having to do all these commas um, to get to there. So instead of comma, 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 comma 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 to get to here you just put print to file colon equals and you could do that feature of that without all the commas so copies equals and what is a copy is going to be equal to how about the uh, whatever number is in uh, me dot text box number copies yes so it may or may not work why because this is going to be text and not considered a number so uh, let's see what happens I'm going to hit F8 um, or hit F5. I'm going to put the number 1 in here and I'm going to click print now. Uh, actually, let me cancel that. Probably to be safe, let's do me.hide because I don't want it to lock up again. I'm going to click save as well. So hit F5, that loads the user form. Let's do one copy and hit print now. And Oh, yeah. So that uh, your file 
could not be printed due to an error on the let's see alright so yeah it probably doesn't like that let's do the the copies equals me dot tb number copies plus zero that will convert that to a number the number one instead of one with quotes around it which is considered text and not a number maybe that maybe that'll make it happy I'm gonna hit five see if that works it's not liking that no, I've been having trouble with my printer um okay guys I promise you uh, if you had a printer that wasn't as crappy as mine this works all the time but you can see uh, with just the print preview that uh, whenever I click print preview it takes several seconds to load so it, it, it's not the procedure it's my printer so I apologize that my printer takes forever to load and there's some kind of memory issue there because the printer's downstairs and it's running through another computer um, that being said I promise you that the dot printout feature of a worksheet works and anyway there's another thing that I like to do sometimes I will say print now uh, and I'll I'll say um, let me move this over here and I'll say copies okay so let's say they put four right there and I'll say let me just merge these two and I'll say print now do a thick border on there so that it almost looks like a button or you could make a button um, and it would do the app you know the this sheet dot print out and then the copies equals cell h6 basically so whatever number is in h6 so I can show you how to do that now um, you won't forget that let's just make a pretty button like we've been talking about I just clicked alt eaa to erase everything insert shape let's make a square one and we'll say print now and home ribbon center center okay so we're gonna assign our macro after we write one alt f11 let's write a macro let's insert a user form oops let's insert a module and we're gonna call this print out sheet one for lack of a better name so uh, let's copy some of this de declaration stuff here in fact we can copy most of that okay sheet one uh, don't need to hide anything in a module sheet one dot print out copies equals and that is going to be sheet one dot range and that is the range that was h6 in quote in parentheses and you should be golden so that's the printout method I hope that helps somebody who doesn't have a crappy printer like I have I'm going to assign the macro to that little thing the printout sh1 and uh, I don't want four copies, I want one copy. So it might bug out again, I don't know. It may not connect, it says it's accessing the printer. Okay, so maybe the computer's not turned on downstairs or something, whatever. At any rate, uh, this does work, and there's lots of documentation, and I use it on several workbooks at work, so I promise you it works. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless you guys.